Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom, 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 <laughs> review stuff. And I'm getting ready to go to Starbucks to get my coffee for the day. And it is 4.35 p.m. I know, I know, but I made coffee earlier today in my, it's time for the percolator. It's time for the, per yes, I made coffee in my percolator today. It was my first video on my new channel, Peter Does Stuff, and my video was called Making Coffee in a Percolator, of course. So go check that video out. My channel is listed below. It would really mean a lot to me. Listen, you guys, I went to bed very early last night. I woke up at like seven o'clock this morning, and I have filmed four videos already. I've gotten so much stuff done around the house. I've talked to my neighbors. I've been friendly. Have you been friendly today? Ask yourself. Have you smiled? Have you smiled at somebody else? And have you been friendly? Those are your things that you need to ask yourself today. Like Mr. Rogers. Hi, neighbor. How are you? Anyway, wouldn't you like to be my neighbor? Anyway, let's get into this video. Today's video is we are going to review... Oh, my God. Okay, this is not the drink that I was going to review from TotallyTheBomb.com. This is a new drink, and the drink is called, hold on, let me get to the top of it, the Pumpkin Cream Double Shot Drink, okay, which Holly has written, this Starbucks Pumpkin Cream Double Shot Drink will have you drinking a fall caffeinated cloud. And I'm really, really excited about this one because I love the Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew, and this is kind of a version of the Pumpkin Cream Cold Brew, so I'm ready for it. The other drink that I was going to do is like a fall drink, so I'll probably review that one tomorrow. So stay tuned. Here you go. There's a picture of it right away. And it says, The Starbucks double shot on ice is probably a lesser known Starbucks menu item, but has always been a favorite of mine. Frothy espresso shots are so good. Take my word on it. And then she says, So I decided it was time to show a little love to one, uh, one of my favorite drinks and give it a nice fall sprucing up which I think is a great idea, with my favorite fall edition, pumpkin cream cold brew. And there's another picture. I love the picture so much. Okay. <laughs> which is a good thing, because there's lots of them on here. I was never a huge fan of pumpkin spice lattes. What? What? Oh, my Lord. So when the cold uh, foam came out, I was super surprised as to how much I fell in love with it. I do have to say, you guys... Now, my go-to drink every single day is a venti iced Americano, uh, a, venti, a venti iced blonde Americano with one and a half equal. I get two because it's just easier unless Josh is there and then he knows I like one and a half. So I don't like to cause him too much trouble, you know? But anyway, um, or I get a pumpkin cream cold brew because I love the pumpkin cream cold brew. Okay, so uh, then there's another picture. <laughs> So I combined to two to to I combined combined the two to bring you this masterpiece, the pumpkin cream double shot, the frothy espresso with the frothy pumpkin goad. It says, "Oh my lord." I don't know what that's. It either means goal or good. I don't know. We'll have you drinking. I don't think she meant go. And definitely not go now. It's okay. <laughs> Family friendly. We'll have you drinking a fall caffeinated clown. <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> Clowns. That was for my friend Wes. Wes, you're a clown. Okay. And there you go. Wes's favorite emoji is the clown. Okay. Just make sure you take our recipe with you because this recipe combination is not on. Okay. So this is a secret menu drink. And there she is holding it up again. So, this is how you order a pumpkin cream double shot. Start by ordering a venti Starbucks double shot on ice. There's another picture. <laughs> it better look like this picture. I'm going to be better. I'm going to be so better. Okay. Then ask for no classic and replace that with vanilla bean powder as your sweetener. And finally, ask for pumpkin cream cold foam. That's it. It's pretty simple drink to order. Just make sure you need uh, a pick-me-up because this is a highly caffeinated drink. So I'm probably going to save a lot of this drink until um, I'm vlogging later tonight. And then I will drink the rest of it tonight because I've already had like two cups of coffee. So, I mean, they were little cups of coffee over about six periods. <laughs> six periods. Six. <laughs> I was just, you guys, I have to tell you, I was just talking in my video the other day. If you don't watch every one of my videos over here about like kids in the these TV shows like Pretty Little Liars and all that kind of stuff about how they always take coffee with them to school and I'm like when did that become a thing like my mother back in the day if I had been like can you stop and get me a cup of coffee what would it have been back then Perkins or something Denny's how you perking hope you perking good anyway uh that's what B. Lucille, the tarot card reader, always says on her videos, and I love her so much. But anyway, like if I had said to my mom, uh, hey mom, can you stop at the truck stop on my way to school so I can get a cup of coffee? She'd have been like, are you kidding me? No. But my mom did let me drink decaf coffee when I was younger. Actually, when I was in high school, I don't think my parents really had that big of a deal with me drinking coffee. I mean, it's like, you know, they could care less. I, I drank soda that had caffeine in it. But 
I th but I think that if we had shown up to school back in the first of all, our teachers would have thought, who do they think they are? They're, it would have been like, do you remember Claire in the Breakfast Club when she brought her own little sushi kit? They think they're very bougie. So then when I was reviewing the Charlie drink by Charlie D'Amelio, the TikToker of the world, you know, she uh, in there said that she had to have coffee when she was 12 years old. She would demand it from her mom, she said. <laughs> I thought it was rather interesting in the article that they that I read that was in like People Magazine or New York Post or something. That she's sitting there, that her caffeine addiction. I thought that was interesting that she, that her PR people let her, but listen, none of these people have PR people, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get on our way over to Starbucks. I'm ready for my coffee, and I'm really ready to try this for the day. Now, you know, no day is complete. Where is it at? Let me get my purse. Do you have a purse? You have to have a purse. How do you keep your things if you don't have a purse? <laughs> Back before I had a purse, yeah, then you have to get your lip gloss. <laughs> Back before I had a purse, I wanted a purse so bad. Now I have 300 of them. Okay. And I'm always changing out purses and losing things and missing, I can't find things. Do you ever do this? This is the worst thing when you have a purse is you go like this. Where is that damn thing? Now I know I put it in here and you're like digging in your purse and it's like right on top. I hate that. It drives me crazy. Anyway. Good thing my grandma is not around anymore. Now, my grandma always had a purse. Okay, she had a purse and a pocketbook. Now, some people, like my good Judy Tanya, she calls her purse a pocketbook because she just carries her uh, wallet with her, or she calls her billfold, right? So, you, but my grandma back in the day called her, she had a pocket pocketbook, and that went inside your purse. What is going on? Oh, my Lord, I'm in, okay. Woo, problems when you're a reviewer of the world. Do you remember that though? When they would have like now, like high end brands like the Louis Vuitton and the, the Gucci and all that, like they have. <laughs> I know what they're called. Don't I think I'm stupid, okay? But, um, but do you remember? I was gonna say, I was gonna try to make a, a joke of Balenciaga and say like the Balencia, Balencia Gaga or something. But anyway, do you remember back in the, the, the canal? Do you remember back in the day though? Like that was the thing. You'd get like a purse, you buy it for your mom for Christmas and it would have a matching pocketbook inside of it, you know? And she wouldn't be real happy, excited about the pocketbook. That was back when you would buy your mom, like you bought like a Clinique lipstick that cost you like $20. You know, my mom always wore salmon ice, that color. And then she put it on her cheeks like it was blush or rouge. But anyway, and then you get the 300 eyeshadow palette thing with it and my mom would be like thank you peter but i don't think that i need 50 shades of uh of pink and blue but they're very pretty very pretty but anyway my grandma she had a pocketbook and a purse back oh, with it. oh my lord hey how are you doing great how are you i'm good okay can you help me make a drink it's real easy give me just one second okay All right, what okay. are we getting for you today? Okay, I need to get a Venti Starbucks double shot on ice. A Venti Starbucks double shot, okay. And then I need no classic, and instead I want to replace that with vanilla bean powder as my sweetener. Okay. And then pumpkin cream cold foam on top. All right, none of the 2% milk it usually comes with? No, thank you. No 2% milk. Okay. I didn't say that. I hope not. Okay. Probably not. Okay. I was just making sure. Anything else for you today? Nope, that's it. All right. Oh, you're a total window. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. But anyway, the reason that I brought up my grandma, okay, is not just because she went to prison, which she did, but my grandma, I'm going, getting ready to go make this booktube video. See, now, if you didn't know, I have six channels, okay? One of them is a booktube channel. Now, on my booktube channel today, um, I'm going to go over, Hi. oh, my Lord, you scared me. Okay. Hold on a second. Um, I'm going to use my points again. I mean, I have so many of these points and I never use them. I have 894 points still left. They need a new joke. That joke's been like two weeks old. Why did the smartphone need glasses? Okay, sorry about that. That's okay. Can I use my points? Oh. Uh, well, if not, it's no problem. I can just get more. <laughs> hold on. No, it's cool. I got it. I got it. I just never do, and I'm trying to use them. No, I got them, too. I got the boys. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wow, those are for you. Thank you. I'm kind of excited about this drink. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to do a booktube video. Now, my grandma, she loved to read. Everybody in my life likes to read, okay? And they... Uh, 
dead or alive. I don't know if they're still reading today. Do you think they read? I don't. Thank you. Oh, actually, yeah. If it doesn't come with one, yeah. And Thank I you. I was interested to tell you that we're going to just, uh, what's the word? Not disqualify, discontinue the equal that we carry. Oh, okay. Yeah. I Do you guys have why. any sugar supplement, like uh, substitutes? I don't know. We have just been celebrating our sweet and low and equal. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I can just, I'll figure it out without yeah, it, I guess. I told you. Oh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. I love this. So excited. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> Do you, though, do you think they read in heaven? What do you think they read? Dirty novels, I bet, don't you? <gasps> don't be reading dirty novels in heaven. That's so horrible. Oh, my Lord. What are they doing over there telling stories? People are saying, this one over here, this is a job interview. Do you ever drive by the Starbucks? You can tell. Okay, this one right here, it's a job interview. She's the real serious. But those three girls over there, they're having so much fun after school. They came and got their coffee. They're gonna, they think they're the next Charlie D'Amelio, but they're not, because they can't dance. And so you think you can dance, but you can't. Okay, that's what the show's called, but in true story. It kind of feels like I've already had my coffee for the moment. I just, I just kind of got revved up all of a sudden. I'm just getting started here at 11 minutes and 11 seconds. Okay, that was good luck. Every night on the Twitter at Paris Hilton, she wishes uh, everybody make a wish at 11. Girl, who'd care? Okay, listen, you didn't need to make no wishes because you're a Hilton, all right? And I'm just saying, okay? I am not a believer that money can buy you love, but money can buy you a little bit of your way out of some sadness on a good day so she can get you some Louis Vuitton or Gucci. Okay, I'm just saying, okay? I don't think she's got a whole lot of problems in her life. So, anyway. Oh, my grandma. My grandma. grandma I have forget about my grandma. No, but do you really, no, do you think that they read and haven't? I hope so, because I love to read. And I don't want it to be like one of those deals either, because like, I love the process of reading. I love like listening to an audiobook or sitting down with a book and reading it, right? Like, I don't want to like get up in heaven and then like I want to read Fine Things by Daniel Steele. Steele. <laughs> Steer. <laughs> Her life would have been so different if Daniel Steele's name was Daniel Steer, don't you think? But anyway, I don't want to get up in heaven and be like, oh, I never read that fifth Lucky Santangelo book by Jackie Collins, and then all of a sudden I just know what happened. Like, I don't want that, okay? Like, that's not heaven to me. Heaven's actually sitting down and actually reading the book. Now, I know for some of you cheaters out there, okay, you cheaters out there that, that you did those EDU sponsorships, you know, those birdie EDUs, you did that, didn't you, to get through college? Look at you now. Uh, caught up with you, didn't it? But anyway, um, so, but I, do you think they read in, what do you think they read in heaven? Do you think there's a library? I think there's like this huge library up there of like every book that's ever been written and every zine and even books that didn't, never got published and things like that. I bet they're all up there in that library. Oh my God, I can't wait to see all that. That's going to be so good. But anyway, my grandma, she loved to read and she loved to read those Harlequin novels. Do you remember that? I'd always be like, Grandma, can I read one of your books? Because they were, she'd always keep them in this like thing over on the side by the bathroom and this metal thing. It was the only thing I wanted when my grandma passed away. My mom was like, why do you want that old thing? We kept at her house forever that my mom sold it in a garage sale or something. She got rid of it. She said it was trash. But anyway, it was, it was a memory that I had of my grandma, you know? Now, like, my mom would probably be like, don't throw that thing away. This thing and that thing of hers probably up in heaven looking down on me reading some dirty book. She's probably thinking to herself, don't throw that away. That's not trash. I'm like, trash. My husband's like, it's all trash. Get rid of it. I did that. I, I was at dinner with my cousin and my husband one night and I said I just don't know what to throw away of my mom's and my husband goes just throw it all away Well, you don't look at any of it anyway And I looked at my cousin to like validate me, you know, like come on Caroline This is my mom's stuff and she goes just throw it all away I was like my lord y'all are so bitter, but my cousin she did she cleaned out my aunt and uncle's house Like I swear to God three days. It was cleaned out. She I, I wish I could have her you, you want to hire somebody to clean out <laughs> your family? Like, oh God, this is taking such a bad turn, but she did she saved something things. Well, I'll tell you what she saved. She saved these Raggedy and Ann and Andy dolls because I told her, I said, I think those might be worth something on the eBay. That's no, a true story, right? So she kept them, but she was looking up these old dolls. I think it was Annabelle. I had to stop it for a second because I lost my mind. But anyway, that happens often in here and I started going off and telling some other kind of stuff. But listen, my cousin Caroline, she took that Raggedy Ann and Andy doll right up into her house and I think it had the spirits in it. I do. I think it was that Annabelle doll. So anyway, but moral of the story was my grandma would never let me read those Harlequin novels. Okay, so here I am, 48 years old and I've never read one of those uh, Harlequin romantical novels of the world where people do it and things. I think they do. I don't know. I've heard they do that. But I don't think they're like, as, I don't think it's like, you're not supposed to say the word. It starts with an E and it ends, it, it ends with, and Madonna had the song, you know, we're playing charades. You get it? Like, you don't say it on this channel because this channel is family friendly. But anyway, you know, those books where people are real romantical and then they kind of like smooch and they do it and stuff like that, I think. you know. But I've never read one of them, so I don't know. But anyway... <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm going to go to the thrift store today and I'm going to go and get some of those romantical Harlequin books and I'm going to read them. I'm going to read what my grandma read. I'm going to see what. Now I kind of think I know how she got the present. I'm just saying, okay? She probably just sat around and read those Harlequin novels and that's probably how she got around. But anyway, okay, let's try this double shot deal. It's kind of like the foam is kind of melting now or something. Anyway, here we go. I, I truly did lose my mind in this video though, didn't I? Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I said I didn't. Should I? I'll try it with a straw and without a straw. That is so good. It is so strong though, you guys. That's really good. Oh my God. But you have to like strong coffee. This is literally like a five. But like if I drank, you, people think like, as ADHD as I am, if I drank this coffee, it, it does the opposite for me. People think that like I'm real hyped up when I drink coffee, but it doesn't. If I drank this coffee, I'd be like Snoresville, true story. But, <laughs> I couldn't even stay awake to upload this video. Here, I'm gonna mix this coffee up and then we're gonna taste it with the straw. Oh my God. I have so much better. This is a five out of five. This is so good, Holly. I, she's just banging out these five out of fives. I can't believe it. This is so good. Five out of five. So anyway, I'm gonna go get my Harlequin novels now. Let me know what you think about this drink in the comment section below. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.